The United States has the most powerful military in the world, with the largest military budget of any country. With all that money to spend, it's no surprise that America has the most expensive war machines on the planet. From its latest aircraft carrier to the F-35 fighter program, these war machines come with a hefty price tag. But what is the true cost of these trillion dollar war machines? Welcome to our channel. Today, we will look at how the US military spends trillions of dollars on war machines. From the $13.3 billion aircraft carrier to the $1.7 trillion F-35 fighter program. This video takes a closer look at the true cost of America's latest war tech. The United States has the most powerful military in the world, with the largest military budget of any country. With all that money to spend, it's no surprise that America has the most expensive war machines on the planet. From its latest aircraft carrier to the F-35 fighter program, these war machines come with a hefty price tag. But what is the true cost of these trillion dollar war machines? In 2021, the US military budget crossed the $800 billion mark, making it more than the next nine largest militaries combined. This massive budget allows America to invest heavily in its military technology, resulting in some of the most advanced war machines in the world. In 2021, the US military budget hit a staggering $800 billion mark, surpassing the combined budgets of the next nine largest militaries. It's no wonder that America owns the most expensive war machines in the world, including the $13.3 billion USS Ford aircraft carrier and the $1.7 trillion F-35 fighter program. However, the true cost of these war machines goes beyond their massive price tags. Some of America's latest war tech, such as the Javelin anti-tech missiles, howitzer artillery cannons, and drones like the California-made switchblade loitering munitions are currently in action in Ukraine. But the bill for these war machines could accumulate into trillions of dollars. And it's not just the initial cost that's a concern. Maintenance, repair and replacement costs can also be incredibly expensive. For instance, the USS Gerald R. Ford, the first of its class with more firepower and a smaller crew, has experienced issues with its electromagnetic launch systems and advanced weapons elevators. After five years of commissioning, the ship still needs to be fully battle ready. With maintenance expenses and tests for underwater bombs, evaluating the actual cost of America's trillion dollar war machines is imperative. It was supposed to be a cost-saving measure for the Navy, has turned into a costly experiment, facing multiple delays and cost overruns. We investigate why, despite all the technological advancements, the Ford still cannot be deployed almost two decades after plans to build it begin. The first of four new carriers in different design and build stages are packed with nearly two dozen significant new technologies, including the cutting-edge weapons elevators that allow sailors to move mortar and more securely and efficiently. However, these elevators and new technologies are just one big floating experiment. During its construction, the ship was delayed multiple times, which caused its cost to skyrocket from $6.4 billion to $10 billion. Even something as simple as unclogging the toilets can cost $400,000. Despite all the setbacks and costs, the Navy plans to replace all the entire supercarrier fleet with Fords, as US law requires its Navy to operate 11 carriers at all times. The Ford class of carriers could easily last into the 22nd century and maintain America's dominance on the high seas. However, despite all the setbacks, the Ford is an impressive feat of engineering. When it comes to launching aircraft, Traditional steam catapults are a thing of the past. Other carriers have been using cutting-edge technology, reminding you of high-speed maglev trains or thrilling roller coasters. But the USS Ford is one step ahead with its electromagnetic linear induction motors. They come with a hefty price tag of over $1 billion for research and design. But trust me, it's worth it. This new launch system has fewer moving parts than steam catapults, meaning fewer crew members are needed to operate and maintain it. And that's not all. The Navy can save an estimated $4 billion over the ship's 50-year lifespan compared to older aircraft carriers. Plus, Ford's advanced computerized systems make it a piece of cake for pilots to take off and land. Unfortunately, the F-35 stealth fighter can't use the new launch system, but retrofitting the USS Ford to accommodate it is totally doable, with an additional cost of $315 million. And let's not forget, that the USS Ford's construction delays are partly due to politics, with the actual cost of building estimated at a mind-boggling $13.3 billion and is still increasing yearly. 
The Navy has changed its shipbuilding plans after experiencing issues with the Ford class carrier. During the construction of the Ford, the takeoff systems were designed and tested on land. Currently, the advanced weapon elevators are undergoing tests before being installed. However, the benefits of this program will only be seen in the following Ford class carrier built. The actual value of the Ford lines and its ability to prevent wars rather than fight them. The US military invests $1.7 trillion in the F-35 Lightning II, a revolutionary stealth warplane. Since its controversial first flight 16 years ago, high costs may prevent the production of almost 2,000 more F-35s. Despite having some issues that need resolving, the F-35 is a game-changer with its stealth, fusion, and center capabilities. The aircraft has been utilized for airstrikes against ISIS in Iraq and Syria and is highly praised by pilots. However, its operational costs are high, with each flight costing $35,000 compared to the $22,000 per hour cost of an older F-16. To address this issue, Lockheed Martin, the manufacturer, is working with its customers to lower the cost of operating and sustaining the F-35 program. F-35 was designed to meet the needs of the Air Force, Navy, and Marines, resulting in three different models, the F-35A, B, and C. The Marine Corps required short takeoff abilities and vertical landings for amphibious carriers, resulting in the F-35B model which costs $101 million per plane. The Navy plane required a stealth jet to take off and land in supercarriers, resulting in the $94 million F-35C model. The Air Force needed a replacement for the A-10 and F-16, resulting in the F-35A model, which is the least expensive at $78 million. Despite facing challenges, including high costs, the F-35 program remains a critical component of the U.S. military's arsenal. The F-35 was supposed to be the ultimate fighter plane, but the original plan turned out to be a costly mistake. The designers tried to cram all the advanced features into one plane, which caused a bunch of problems. The first B model was too heavy, so Lockheed Martin had to go back to the drawing board. This set the program back and cost a ton of money. The Navy's C model needed more giant wings and more rigid landing gear to land on aircraft carriers. Retired Lieutenant General Chris Bodgin took over in 2012 when the program was billions over budget and years behind schedule. Although Lockheed Martin has already delivered more than 550 F-35s to the U.S. military, the Pentagon has postponed a crucial milestone that would officially mark the end of the testing. This is because the F-35 still has over 600 known problems, mostly related to computer software and hardware. The cost estimate for maintaining the F-35 fleet has increased by 15% between 2018 and 2021, totaling more than $400 billion. Despite the high cost, the F-35 does have some incredible features. The self-diagnosing system saves tons of time and maintenance. At the same time, the custom-fit helmet gives pilots more information than any other fighter jet. The stealth design makes the F-35 nearly invisible to radar and hides the heat signature from its supersonic engine. Despite the F-35's incredible features, such as its self-diagnosing system and stealth design, its high cost may lead to a reduction in purchases by the military. The original plan was for the Air Force to buy over 1,700 F-35As, but this goal may still need to be met. Additionally, while the F-35 is considered a lethal autonomous weapon on the battlefield, there is a heated debate over deploying killer robots. The ongoing conflict in Ukraine shows that both sides employ lethal drones. Still, the cost of removing human involvement from decision-making is yet to be fully understood. This debate raises important questions about the ethical implications of autonomous weaponry and the need for caution as we continue to explore this technology. While there is no doubt that this spending has helped to make the US military one of the most powerful in the world, it is also important to consider the broader implications of such vast expenditures. Critics argue that this money could be better spent on other priorities, such as education, healthcare, and infrastructure. Ultimately, the debate over military spending is likely to continue, with advocates and detractors offering different perspectives on the best way to allocate resources in pursuit of national security and other strategic goals. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos.